Alright, welcome back to part 16 of modding the original Xbox. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys how you can resize the default partitions. So, here we have the E partition. Its default size is around 5 gigabytes, and the C partition is around 500 megabytes. And what I've found out is that these partitions fill up really quickly if you have lots of custom soundtracks and lots of game saves. So what we can actually do on a hard modded Xbox that has either a mod chip or a T-SOP, we can actually go through and resize these to make them a little bit larger. Now I don't know what this is going to do for every game being compatible with this, but the games that I've tested seem to work so far. So I'm actually booted into Heimdall's Xbox engineering disk. We're going to go to the D partition and go into applications and open up XB partitioner 1.3 and then run the default.xbe. Okay, before we get started here, I should mention that running this tool will wipe everything off your original Xbox once we start messing with it. So once we start deleting partitions and reapplying everything, everything will be wiped. So be sure that you back up everything before you get going here. Okay, so your original Xbox partitions might look a little different. So what we're gonna do on our last partition is press the right thumbstick in. So whether you have six or seven partitions, doesn't matter we're going to press the right stick in on the last one and then we're going to delete every single one all the way back up to one after you do that then you can resize number one this is your E partition you should be able to resize it by pressing the d-pad to the left so you want to get this up I'm gonna do 50 gigabytes but you do whatever you think is good for your Xbox if you can't get it to resize you can try to use the L and R buttons on the top of your controller so initially the D-pad doesn't work, but if you press the left trigger just a little bit and then the right trigger to go back to zero, then you can use the D-pad to get more rounded numbers. Then for my C partition, which is the next one, number two, I'm going to set that to 12 gigabytes. The next three partitions are the cache partitions. Typically these are 750 megabytes each. I have set these to one gig each. Okay, so now go down to partition six, and I could actually resize this as high as I want, which is kind of weird because it's only a 250 gig hard drive. But if you just press B, it'll distribute the rest of the space evenly onto that drive. I'm not sure how this will work on a two terabyte drive just yet, because I haven't tried this yet, but you should be able to resize this properly. But even if you don't right now, we will be back in this tool in just a little bit because we now have to copy our dash back onto the C and E partitions. So let's press start and then press Y and the partition table will be written to the disk. And this will wipe everything that's on the current Xbox hard drive. Now we can exit out of XB Partitioner. And now inside of Heimdall's Xbox engineering disk, you can look in File Explorer and see we have some extra space here, but it's not quite right. Notice that I only have 9,971 megabytes for drive E when I set it to 50 gigabytes. But our cache drives look pretty good, and our C drive looks pretty good. But not to worry, we'll get this fixed in just a second. So let's go back to the main menu and select Hard Drive Tools, number 5. And we're going to do New Disk NTSC Xbox. And we're going to type in the password, which is AYBX, and start. Now we can press both triggers and the start button and again and it will format the disk now the files are being copied back to the original Xbox hard drive Okay, so here I just selected partition six and then I just pressed the B button and it automatically resized to 168 gigs. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna press start to write the table and format it and then press Y to continue. Now you can press B twice to get out of XB partitioner. And as you can see there, letter F is listed as 131 gigs. Why 131 gigs? I'm not too sure, but it's pretty close. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I'm going to keep testing this to see if there's any compatibility issues with certain games and having a larger C and E partition, uh, but 
this is pretty nice. I'll be able to put a lot of music on the E drive and even keep some of my operating systems and things on there. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it works for you. And if so, give me a like, a comment, subscribe. Let me know what other videos on the original Xbox you want to see. Thanks for watching. <laughs>